Hi all, welcome to another episode of Biomedical Vlogs. Today I am sharing my own experience about the biomedical field since I started Biomedical Job Portal in 2017. I am happy that today it's having more than 52,000 followers in LinkedIn page. The number of queries I am receiving from biomedical job seekers is more nowadays. So I would like to tell you some of the important things that I noticed during all these years. Two of the major concerns from biomedical graduates are not getting response from the recruiter and not aware about the available opportunities. It can be about the opportunities in hospital or companies as well as the lack of knowledge about the opportunities biomedical engineers are having in the job market. So this video is purely for biomedical job seekers and biomedical engineering students to understand how best you can prepare for a job. So why candidates are not getting response from the recruiter? There are multiple reasons. Number one, people often apply for job even without understanding the actual requirement of the recruiter. Mostly all the vacancies will be shared with complete job description. Sending a resume for all the openings won't help you to get a job. Applying for a job which is most suitable to your profile and the skill set you are having for that particular job role should be your focus. Number 2. Taking the job application process very lightly. Nowadays, we all are applying for jobs online. It can be through mail or any job portals. Look at the contents you are drafting while sending a job application mail. Mostly people fail to send a proper introduction email. Don't expect recruiter even to open your resume without writing a good introduction mail as it's a crucial part to get shortlisted for further process. Number 3. Your resume. In my experience out of 100 resume more than 80% of the people are not bothered about the content or the template they are using while applying for a job. And still I can see people sending resume with word format as well. Please do understand recruiters are looking for resumes which is best suitable to their requirements. It can be the experience, knowledge in any particular domain, your area of expertise etc. So make sure your resume is well prepared and you can impress the recruiter. Number 4. Lack of professional network. Don't just depend on email id for applying for a job. Keep building your professional network and try to get referred to the job openings. Because most of the companies are filling their vacancies primarily through internal referrals. So having a good networking in the industry will make your application process more easier and you can get the update and status on the recruitment process through your contacts as well. Otherwise it will be completely unknown. We don't know what's happening whether they have checked our resume or vacancies already filled. So it's always better building your professional network and maintain a healthy relation with them. And LinkedIn is one of the best effective platform for professional networking. Make use of it. There are many biomedical engineering students are passing out from colleges every year. Whether all these graduates are having job opportunities in the market? Before analyzing the number of opportunities, we should evaluate the quality of the education and the employability of the fresh graduates. Unfortunately, there are graduates, those who don't even know what are the opportunities biomedical engineers are having in the industry. It is because of the lack of direction and awareness about the biomedical engineering course and there is a huge gap between the industry requirement and the education system that we are having. Who should be blamed for this? Students, faculties or the universities preparing the syllabus? More than blaming someone, what we can do? Number 1. Students should take initiative to understand what is happening in the industry and what is the scope of the subjects that we are studying. It shouldn't be just a course to get any job. You should have a clear focus about your career and your interest. Don't expect someone will give you a job by just having a BTEC or diploma certificate. What you know and how best you can work for the recruiter or company matters a lot. Don't just rely your syllabus, attend workshops, conferences, do multiple internships if possible and parallelly build your professional network which will be useful when you are actually looking for any job or internship. Number 2. 
Faculties or colleges should try to give equal importance to industry collaboration and organizing more industry connecting programs to bring more awareness among students about the biomedical course and the opportunities they are having. By interacting with experts in the industry, students can grow up to their expectation and it will help them to shape their career as well. Number 3. Biomedical companies can also be a part of educating the upcoming biomedical engineers by organizing webinars, campus connect programs, offering industry visit, giving internship etc. The importance of healthcare industry is increasing day by day and the technology is also growing rapidly. In all the area of healthcare technology and the new innovations, biomedical engineers are having job opportunities as it's a good combination of subjects that biomedical engineers are studying. If you are a student or a job seeker, you don't need to worry about the opportunities. Do your best, you will get job for sure. You can also follow us in LinkedIn for biomedical job updates. Thank you for watching the video. Please do comment your thoughts and experience in the comment session. Bye.